Hi there guys, thanks for coming back again today. Um, yeah, more Mandela Effect stuff happening. I've said it before and I'll say it again, that this stuff is going to be trickling in daily, weekly, monthly. You're going to see more and more Mandela Effects. <laughs> this one though is... I, I'm sort of a bit lost for words at this one. I, I was away for a couple of days clearing my head, trying not to think of the Mandela effect so much, trying to just uh, be air quote normal. Um, Capricorn the goatfish. Yep, I did say that correctly, guys. Capricorn the bloody goatfish. Um, <laughs> I'm a Capricorn myself. I'm, I'm born in early January. So I know what a bloody Capricorn sign looks like, the zodiac symbol. And he's not a goatfish. It, Capricorn is a goat with hooved legs. Four hooved legs. No living in a half shell. No mermaid tail. Nothing like that. He's not a goatfish. Um, a goat attached to the tail of a fish. I saw another YouTuber putting this video up. And uh, this one has probably hit me the hardest out of all of them, purely for the fact that I am a Capricorn. I have looked into numerology and astrology before. Um, I wouldn't say that I'm a, a leading authority on the subject, but I've looked into it a bit to know that this is bizarre to me, a goatfish. I've never even heard of this. And one reason why I know that for a fact is when I was reading up my uh, characteristics on a site, which I believe was called Cafe numerology or something to that effect and it specifically said Capricorns are very grounded creatures um, I sometimes have my head in the clouds as a person but ultimately I come back down to the ground um, and I'm a pretty pragmatic person that's why I thought this was very very accurate when it was saying this about the the goat the Capricorn uh, <laughs> Had there have been a mermaid tail attached to him or a shell, I would have thought, oh, so maybe there's a water element to him. So why doesn't it mention that? So for me, this is probably as shocking as the Queen, We Are The Champions song. Or in fact, most of them are Life Is Like A Box Of Chocolates. They're all pretty shocking. But for me, this this is the pinnacle of <laughs> shock. Um, I don't really know what else to say about it. Well, I mean, what what do you think? Do, do you remember it as a, a goat fish? Do you remember it with a mermaid tail? Do you remember it in a shell? Or do you remember it as I remember it with four hooved legs? Um, this is just Google Images here. I don't know. Yeah, this, so you see this here, this character here. You are kidding me. A mermaid goat. I've never even heard of a mermaid goat in any myths or fables or anything like that. You know, you have the, uh, what are they call centaurs, where they've half man, half horse, and they've got the little bow and arrows. Um, yeah, this to me, so it's all I typed in on the search was Capricorn. And this is what comes up, all of these mythical looking goats with mermaid tails. Uh, I'd... I'd I honestly don't know what to say anymore. It's kind of funny, but at the same time, it makes you feel like you're going crazy. Still, I thought I was just getting kind of used to this, and now I come home and see my star sign now has a mermaid tail. Um, <laughs> that's all from me, guys. But please do comment below and let me know what you think on it, if you know him this way. Cheers. Bye.